What's up guys? So I usually don't make a whole video uh, about an unboxing video, but I'm really excited about this package. I actually got a Andy Anderson board from PAL. It's a flight board. And I'm still a little bit confused on the fact like if this is fiberglass or carbon fiber. So in Ben DeGrosse's video, he said the top sheet was actually carbon fiber, but then I had another comment on my video that said, no, on the website it, sa it says it's actually fiberglass. So I'm not 100% sure what it is on the top sheet, but this is a crazy shaped board. There's so much concave on this thing. I'm excited about skating this board because so much technology went into this board, and I think it's gonna be really good for the way I skate. I like a big board, I like a flat tail, but I also like to be able to do pressure flips. And this is cut in on the sides so you can still do pressure flips. Also if you're primo, you've got a primo nose and tail. Those little curves help you to do like the flat ground freestyle stuff. Another cool thing about this board is I'm not going to be able to break this board. I do a lot of lip slides on flat bars and rails. And when you're doing a lip slide, you ollie and you're coming up all the way over the rail and slamming down on it. So I have broken so many boards doing that trick. But this board, I'm going to have a lot of confidence with. I'm not going to have to worry about breaking it because it's very strong. So there's no holes poked in the graphic. The graphic was just like laid on top of the wood. You don't have the little holes yet. I really should have done that like close up with the camera like ASMR. I've never really been into skulls or anything like that, but this is a pretty cool graphic. I really like the colors, I like the crane up here. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but it probably has something to do with maybe Vancouver or Canada, where he's from. Maybe it's something like that. Never been to Canada. So the first thing I noticed, my favorite part of the board so far is the tail and around the bolts there's just so much concave it kind of reminds me of like a downhill longboarding deck with a w concave that just really curves up and holds your feet in this is probably the most aggressive concave i've had on a skateboard you know that wasn't some type of longboard also the tail is just perfect it's got like three or four fingers to flat, and then it's a pretty long flat tail. Looks like it's gonna be a really nice board. I like that it has a longer wheelbase. It's gonna make it a lot more stable. So I'm gonna set that board up with mob grip tape, but I did get some free mini logo grip tape, which is actually probably what Andy Anderson skates, because I know he skates mini logo trucks, on his board so that might be what he skates also got some stickers in here somewhere some stickers that say go skate I'm gonna be setting this board up with independent 169 trucks this board is really wide and really long so I'm probably gonna have to cut some strips in the grip tape because it's like the exact same size widthwise and lengthwise as the board so I would have to put it on perfectly if I wanted to use this grip tape without modifying it at all. So I'm going to use the inside the straight edge that the machines cut and not the side that I cut on the inside of the board just because it's a little bit better. They did a little bit better job there. Let's see.
All right, so I want to show you something really quick. This deck is so strong that it actually broke my tool. This part of the tool right here is actually spinning. When it gets to a certain tightness, the actual metal part is rotating so that the bolt doesn't get any tighter. So yeah, when I say that the board broke my tool, I mean that top sheet of fiberglass is so strong that the adhesive inside the tool holding the metal part in place actually failed and, and broke so that the metal that goes around the bolt actually moves. So one thing I'm not going to like about this board is even with the regular pliers, I'm having trouble getting these bolts flush, these, these screws. like. This fiberglass on the top sheet is, is serious. Like it's some serious stuff. I may have to go back in with a drill and just drill a little indention there to, to countersink the screws. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, reviews, tutorials, and videos about what I'm learning as I grow as a skateboarder, hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching.